you. You're the one who's saying Jehovah's Witnesses are a cult. Who are you to say that? You are. You're a satanic cult. You're from the pit of hell. How many people have we killed? But you don't need to. You've killed them spiritually with your false doctrine. You've damned them to well, hell. What is your definition? You're so ignorant. You don't even know the definition of the word cult, do you? Okay. A cult is I'm going to prove to you you're, you're a cult leader. Will your society allow you to interpret the Bible in a manner that goes against their interpretation of those passages? Of course not. Why do you think Say it again? Wait, wait, wait. You said it too fast. Don't be scared. Say it again. They made they made the Bible to benefit people like you. Yeah, but you so didn't hear what I understand. said. Can you interpret the Bible in a manner Why that contradicts? You you're not you answering the question. Stop questions. running. Do, can you See, interpret the Bible? Me. You're talking over me, Razuk. Stop being disrespectful. Can you interpret the Bible to contradict the Jehovah Witness teaching of a passage? What is the point of contradicting? Yes the or no? Bible? Yes Nobody or no? You're not answering the question. What? Yes or no? Of course not. You of cannot. course no. not. Thank you, you cultist. You just proved you're a cult. Oh, so you're telling me is you could develop any way you want. This is your logic, remember, and use it to your benefit. And you're calling me a cult. No, you are a cultist. So whatever benefits you, you use it. No, you are and a cultist. Do you know why? Cult. Let me tell you why. Here in my chat channel, I'm going to prove to you you're a cultist. We're not. That, we have. That, that let me let me finish the point. I Can I answer it. your question? Okay. In my Go chat ahead. channel, as we speak, I have Catholics. Orthodox, Assyrian Church of the East, mm -hmm. Coptics, mm -hmm. and Protestants, and we all love and worship the Trinity and love the Bible, but there are things we mm -hmm. disagree with, but we don't condemn each other to hell. But your society, if you say to the society, I disagree with your interpretation of this passage, you're disfellowshipped and thrown out of the society. I have no problem with that. What? If and so then you see you have no problem being a cultist. Them. Thank you, cultist. Go to Revelation 5.13. And I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and underneath the earth and on the sea and all the things in them saying to the one sitting at the throne <laughs> and to the lamb be the blessing of honor and the glory and the might forever and ever. Okay, now. Before living creature. Well, you're reading verse 14. It's okay. In the first part of 13, can you read what it says? I heard every creature where? In heaven. Finish it. And where? And on earth and underneath the earth. Finish it. And on the sea and all things in them. So John is saying every creature, right? Before you move on. He says every creature, right? Yes. You sure it's every creature ever? Because he says everywhere, right? All of them, right? Every creature. Good. You but just this proved. Is before the end comes. And beautiful. You just admit Jesus is not a creature. Thank you. Because now read who they worship. Read it. And to the lamb. Be the and to the lamb. lamb. Oh, wow. Every creature in all creation gives Jesus the same worship forever that they give to God the Father. Let me repeat what you said. Everyone just heard you. You just admit to everyone, your own translation, you read it. Every creature, you said it's every creature. But now it says every yeah. creature saying to the one on the throne and to the Lamb. So you didn't answer the question. How can Jesus be a creature when every creature is distinct from him and every creature is giving Jesus the same honor they give to the Father, something that you don't even do? Because he's a king. I get, you still don't get it. Okay. How can Jesus be a creature if every created thing in all creation is honoring him the same way that the Father is being honored? Because the Father is not creation, so every creature is separate from him. But every creature is also separate from the Lamb. How can they be separate from the Lamb if he's a creature? You're not answering the question. If you're giving respect to something, you're not praying to it. There's a big difference between respecting something and praying okay, to you, it. Okay, you're not getting my question, Azuf. This is what's killing me. Every creature is on one side and God the Father and Jesus on the other side, meaning just like God is not part of creation. He's separate uh -huh. from every created thing. Notice where the Lamb is. He's not part of every created thing. He's separate from them, receiving the same honor that God receives forever and ever, how if Jesus is a creature? 